I haven't done a podcast in a long time, and I want to uh, I want to apologize for it. Not because I feel like I owe anybody an apology. More so, I want to apologize for not saying that I was going to take a break from doing the podcast. Because I know there are some people out there that actually listen to it and look forward to it. I don't know who those people are. I'm not good at selling myself anybody who has seen me you know from youtube to instagram to facebook or whatever i don't i don't know how to sell myself i just know how to create the shit that people like about me and do that i don't know how to say hey please pay attention to me please look at me please notice what i'm doing i don't have that ability to ask for people to please pay attention to me i don't know if it's ego or what but i don't have it in me to say please 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 support me please come look at me please you know buy my stuff please do i just do it and then you know whoever comes to it comes to it because I look at it as, yes, what I do is is good. I think I'm good at what I do. But am I good to the point where I say, yo, y'all should fucking pay me to do this shit? I mean, it's a little bit of ego in it to believe that you're so great at something that somebody should fucking pay you to do it. It's like, don't do it, bitch. You know, like if you do something and you want somebody to pay you for it and you get mad if somebody don't pay you for it, it's like, don't fucking do it. I think that's the easiest way to get out of there. Um, so I take breaks in between. And, you know, part of me I wrestle with, and people that listen to the podcast have seen me before. No, I wrestle with if me entertaining people is distracting you from the work that you need to be doing on yourself. You know, like, I think everybody is born to do work. You know, you're born, you have a purpose. And if I'm entertaining you, am I distracting you from the work that you're supposed to be doing here on earth for yourself or for others? You know, maybe you're supposed to be building a house. Maybe you're supposed to be trying to cure something. Maybe you're supposed to be trying to learn how to build something. And I'm fucking doing this shit over here like, hey, hey, hey. And you're being distracted by it and you're not getting the shit that you need to get done, done. That's why I've been a little bit on the fence about doing shit during the pandemic because, you know, from a spiritual aspect, people say, yo, this is a spiritual time. You're supposed to be getting better with yourself, finding your soul, your spirit, find out what God wants you to do or the universe wants you to do or Darth Vader wants you to do, Voldemort, whoever you fucking believe in, that person that you identify with, the master of the universe on some He-Man type shit, um, you're supposed to be like getting better but so you can get in tune with that person. That's if you're a spiritual person or you believe that your life has a purpose or not, you know, that's what we're supposed to be doing. So, like, me not wanting to entertain people during this time is partially because, one, I'm working on myself. I started back therapy, so I have a therapist now, so I'm working on myself, and I don't know if I should be entertaining people while I'm trying to work on myself, but also at the same time, it's like I got to provide for myself, make a living for myself, and have a place to stay while I fucking get better for myself. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm torn between it. And then, you know, I try to avoid social media, but, you know, in the middle of the night, you're sitting in the house by yourself where you've been for fucking eight, nine months now. And your mind starts to drift. You get cabin fever. I'm sure a lot of people have cabin fever. You're in the house all day long. You're not going out. You're going to forget how to talk to people. That's what's going to happen. We're going to forget how to talk to each other one-on-one, face-to-face, because it will be so long since you did it, you'd be like, how the fuck do I talk to people anymore? How the fuck do I have a conversation with another person? How do we, like, how do we do it? Like, do I walk up to them and say, Hey, how you doing? Or do I like, you know, should I like say, Hey, let me see if you're, you know, like in the future, are we going to say, Hey, you know, let me scan your forehead. Okay. Your temperature's good. Okay. Now I'll talk to you. Like, what are we doing? How do you date now? Like, like if you saw a girl in the, in the grocery store, you could just see her eyes, in her hair, you know, 
but you can't see her face, but you can see her body. You know, like, how do you fucking meet somebody now? Like, I guess I know, I don't want to sound ignorant, but I know the, the cultures where the like, Muslim women, they cover their bodies. You know, you can't see anything. It's like, you just got to, like, look at the eyes and see if you want to be with that person. Like, you see the soul of that person or whatever. Because you'll see a chick. If I'm a guy, I see a chick, and I'm like, oh, damn. I think she's cute. But all I can see is her fucking eyes and her hair, and she, and she got the jeans on, and, you know, the yams is in the jeans, and that that's sexy. But I don't know if she got teeth. I don't know if, you know, if it's good hygiene or she got tattoos on the face. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's, it's a scratch and sniff. Like, you won't know until you get home. So should we, like, start going up to people and say, hey, um, I think you're attractive. And um, this is a picture of me without a mask on. And if you find this face attractive, um, I would like to see your picture of your face to find out if I would like to pursue you as well. And then... Um, we go get a test and then we start talking to one another. Like no one's thinking about how we're going to date and procreate in the fucking future. Cause not only do you have to have an HIV test. Now you got to have a fucking COVID test. Like you got your COVID test. You got your flu test. You got your HIV test. You got your, are you STD test. You good. Like it's all these fucking tests to do shit. All just the fuck. That's the crazy part. All is just to get some ass. We had an election couple of weeks ago it's hard to talk about politics especially with it's hard to talk about politics about anything with any fucking body because we're ignorant as fuck on a on a on a global scale universal i know is i know like people say you know florida is um the worst state and i agree florida is a piece of shit just Throw it away. Throw the whole baby in the trash. Fuck Florida. Just throw the whole bitch in the trash. I've said it before. I'm never going to change my position. Florida should be cut off and pushed into the fucking Bermuda Triangle, and we should duct tape Puerto Rico onto them because it's fucking better. Puerto Rico is better than Florida. And the women, are, women are much better. They just don't have the you know certain amenities to make themselves look as good as the women in Florida look because they have plastic surgery and there's filters on your phone now. And I don't know if Puerto Rico has that type of technology. <laughs> I'm joking. I know Puerto Rico has stuff. United States, it, somebody said it. I said it too, but somebody else tweeted it and they got to it first. But the United States is the Florida of the world because we're dumb. We're arrogant. We're young. We're a young country that believes we know better than everybody else. And now... 250,000, 270,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000 people or die, will die from fucking COVID. By the end of next year, everybody will have had COVID except for the rich people. I like how people think this vaccine is going to make everything better and it's not going to make everything better. How can it make everything better? It doesn't. It makes it so you can go outside and work. It makes it so you can go, you know, go out there in the workforce again and break your neck to do some shit that you probably don't even need to do. You think you need to do it. Like if everybody just loved themselves, you wouldn't work as hard as you do. If everybody loved themselves, you wouldn't work as hard as you do to buy things, to make people see that you are worth anything for the people in the back. Did you hear me? I said, if everybody loved themselves unconditionally, we wouldn't work so hard to do things to guess, make ourselves valuable or worthy because that's why you do it people make tv shows because they want to make money so people will find them interesting so people will say oh my god you know that's so-and-so from the show and blah 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 like that's a that person is great like this is it's a lot of worship in that shit man it's a lot of worship i don't think people realize how dangerous it is when you fucking Think about how much you like somebody and what that liking somebody can do. Like you create a, you create the monster you worship. You know, when you like, when somebody famous does something and then you don't like what they do or you don't like the thing that they did this time, there's no reason for them not to believe they couldn't get away with it when they feel like they've done shit just as bad and you have supported it or championed it. So it's like, 
I laugh when people get mad at celebrities. Like, oh, we're going to cancel so-and-so. It's like, so-and-so did what he did because you motherfuckers liked this and you gave him whatever he wanted. Why wouldn't he think he couldn't do something else and get away with it? So with the whole vaccination thing, I think it's, good. it's a slippery slope. Because who's going to get the vaccination first? The rich, the 1% of the 1% of the 1%. Shout out to Mr. Robot, greatest TV show I've ever seen in my life. Um, the 1% of the 1% of the 1% will get it, or they probably don't even got it, or they never had it, or they already had a cure a long time ago because they let the shit out so they can do some, you know, population control and get rid of people. Whatever whatever theory you want, to, whatever X-Files idea you want to put into it, then you have the 1% of the 1%. You get the rich, get it. Essential workers will get it. And then the people who can afford to get the shot, that would allow you to participate in society long enough to provide for yourself will get the shot. Meaning like I'm aging myself, but like, I think it's a depot shot. Women would get the shot in their arm so they could not get pregnant. It's like birth control or whatever, but it would like last like five years. You can get it some last like five years, some last seven years, three years, whatever. But you get this the shot in your arm and you, motherfucker get nutting you all day long and you, you won't get pregnant. Right. That's what the virus shot is going to be. It's going to like, yo, if you got enough money, it's like your license. You know, you get your license renewed for like four years or five years or whatever, whatever you want to pay to get it. It's like, yo, we got this vaccination shot. Now you can get the one that like makes you not get sick for like five years or the one that makes you not get sick for three years or the year, or you can pay every three months to get a shot so you can participate in society. Because if you don't have a vaccination, all this over here, you can't be a part of, and you got to survive on the outskirts of whatever we don't give a fuck about. Like the wastelands. Be like the wastelands in the world. Like there's places where people can't afford a vaccination or don't want the vaccination, and they choose not to get the vaccination, and they do the best they can with whatever is out there on the outer perimeter of civilization where people have the vaccination. Call, think I'm not... Think it won't happen. Why wouldn't it? There's, because there's there's money in that. There's money in saying, "Yo, you need this to fucking live in the world where you can provide a life for yourself." And if you don't want to pay what it costs to get this fucking shot, so you can provide for yourself in a comfortable way, then go the fuck out here on this wasteland and do the best you can. Why wouldn't you? We do it now. We put a price on people living. Like we say, yo, if you really want to live, pay this much money. That's what insurance is. That's what insurance is. You really fucking believe we live in a world. If this was a just world, if this was a just world, a world where good shit happened, somebody who has the ability to keep you alive would not ask you to pay them to keep you alive. If we lived in a just, if we live in a world where we really believe in a God, or we live in a world where we really believe in angels, or we live in a world where we believe there's good in the air, why the fuck would we ever make people that have the ability to keep people from dying be able to charge to keep people alive and from dying if we really care about people dying. That's why I'm so baffled by people getting upset or trying to stop someone from committing suicide. Why are you fucking trying to stop somebody who wants to get the fuck out of here from getting the fuck out of here? You know what type of hostage that is? That's fucking hostage. I've had time to sit in my apartment and think, if you won't let someone commit suicide, you are keeping them a hostage in a world where they like, I don't want to do this. Why would you make somebody do life if they don't want to? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Why would you stop somebody from doing something that would make them like say, fuck it. This right here, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I under I understand suicide. I understand suicide. I understand suicide. I understand it. I I get it. I know why somebody would be like, "This is 
bullshit. I don't know what's on the other side. People have told me stories, but I don't give a fuck because this is bullshit. Bullshit. This whole thing of I got to be born and I got to go work hard and I got to fucking contribute to a world where it don't matter how hard I work, they'll never fucking respect me. Nigga, why would you force somebody to live when they don't want to live in a world that's never going to get better? Why would you make somebody live when they don't want? Listen, fam, listen. I don't know if any of this shit has been funny yet. And I didn't say I was going to fucking make you laugh today either. But fam, listen to me. I'm a black man in America, in a world where if I say you're not treating me fair because of the way I look, people will say that's not true. I'm not treating you fair because of the way you look or your complexion. I'm not even treating you unfair. That's all in your head, bitch. Come the fuck on, fam. That's my life. If I tell a white person or any person, racism starts with white people and then any other race that thinks they want to be as good as white people treat black people the same way they think white people treat black people. Show me the lie. Show me the lie. Show me the lie in what I just said. White people treat black people like shit the best. Y'all the best at treating black people like shit. Or it could be argued that black people treat black people like shit the best. Come fight me. It's in the air. I put it out there. It was something that we all been looking at, but we never bothered to look at it. It is what it is. And don't come at me with no Candace Owens shit. But at the end of the day, white people treat black people like shit the best. And then everybody else tries to mimic it. And every race tries it until it's like, uh, you the same complexion as us. I wish the fuck you would try to treat us like white people treat us. We'll beat the shit out of you, right? Why would I want to live in a world where I'm fighting to be considered an equal human being, a man? I just want to be considered a man. And there's people out here that will never, ever look at me as an equal because of the complexion of my skin. Help me understand. Why would I want to get up every day and fight that shit? Why? Why would anybody? Like, if you if you if a woman was in a relationship where she got raped every day and she came to work and was like, girl, I just got raped again. Like, come on, man. Why you want to kill yourself? Because I'm getting raped every day. That ain't no reason to kill yourself. That's the equivalent to telling somebody that is miserable in life, why don't you keep living? Nigga, because life is raping me of joy and feeling, and I don't want to go through it anymore. If a woman's getting raped every day, you would either try to save her or you would assist her in taking her life because... You don't know what it is to be raped every day. And when somebody wants to commit suicide because they like, this shit is killing me. You can't get mad or call that person crazy because everybody can't take it. Everybody can't fucking handle life just because you doing it easily, bitch. Your situations may be different. Don't force nobody to leave. I'll never believe in it. While I exist in this form as a black man with fucking fucking hair, coarse, ethnic fucking hair, I'll never believe, ever, ever believe that I will be considered equal to anybody as a black man in this world because white people used to own us. White people used to own us, and because they used to own us, I refuse to believe. I cannot imagine them ever saying I used to own that. Now I'm going to treat it as my equal. You're not going to let your dog eat at the fucking kitchen table with you. You won't. It'll always be that. That used to be a dog. Even though he's not a dog anymore, but he used to be a dog. Am I really going to treat this motherfucker that used to be a dog as an equal? Show me the lie, man. We be fighting for shit that it ain't 
that it's it, it feel like it's never going to be possible or meant for us. Like we got to, man, imagine having to fight to be considered equal to do something that no one should have control over whether or not you can do the thing that you want to fucking do. Imagine you having to fight in a world of free will to be able to do what you want to do because somebody else just like you told you you can't fucking do it. And people question why motherfuckers want to commit suicide. Man, I'm a man. There's a white guy in the line with me the other day. He a man. He got dick. He got balls. He got hair. I got more hair than him. He younger than me. I'm taller than he is. I'm faster than he is. I could whoop his ass if I had to. And it looked like I had more money than him. And I don't have no goddamn money. But guess what? He's still better than me in the eyes of the world. Because he's white. Imagine you being faster than somebody, smarter than somebody, more educated, taller, in shape, contribute more to society, and then somebody will still question whether or not your value is is more than this fucking white guy who works as a goddamn uh, manager at Chick-fil-A. A white guy manager at Chick-fil-A will get more respect or consideration about their truth than me, a comedian who's been on TV, sitcoms, stand-up. I could be as famous as Dave Chappelle, and he would still probably give his testament or his assessment or whatever the benefit of the doubt faster than me. So don't tell me I don't understand why suicide is not a fucking option. There's a white kid named Kyle Rittenhouse. This motherfucker, this motherfucker's mom, this bitch drove her son. This bitch drove her son across state lines and he had a fucking gun in the car. She took him to a protest. It's no fucking way this bitch didn't know her son was going across state lines to kill some people. This motherfucking white boy killed people. He killed people. Drove across state lines. He killed people. But because he's white and he's in America and they felt like he was doing the right thing by trying to stop these protesters who are protesting against injustice deserves to fucking walk free amongst us because he was doing the American thing. Why would you question why somebody would even entertain suicide when I'm a black man, live by myself. Some white guys came to my house right now. Five white guys, Aryan Nation, hair cut off, tattoos, fucking pictures of people fucking on their arms or whatever, hate swastikas. If they came to my house right now and kicked my door open and I, I got a gun, and I shoot this motherfucker, there's still a chance that I could go to jail. It's still a chance that in the act of self-defense of five white guys trying to rape me, beat me up, hang me, somewhere in the law, they'll say he should go to jail too because he killed somebody. Or where did he get a gun from? Like if I had a gun illegally in here and I killed somebody, like this pandemic now, I got people where they hunt for food. Like if somebody came in and tried to take food from me, and I shot them, they would like entertain the idea of taking me to jail. It's almost better for them to let, it's almost better for me to let them come in here and rape me and take my food and then like try to press charges later because they'll still put me in jail if I shot and killed one of these white dudes that came to rape and kill and pillage me. This white kid killed people and they got this motherfucker out of jail. Ricky Schroeder from Silver Spoons, NYPD Blue. This white guy donated $150,000 to a to the bail of a white kid whose mom drove him across state lines with a fucking gun and he's 17 years old this motherfucker underage and she supported this motherfucker's interest this bitch supported that's my son's interest he likes killing people who 
uh, don't listen to the Constitution, disrespect the flag and the president as long as he's white. What the fuck are we talking about, B? There are people walking around Christian groups. Yo, I'm from the South, born and raised in that motherfucker. Christian, they be throw Christianity around like a goddamn Lucky Charms juice or whatever. But don't tell me you believe in God and you can't bring somebody from a different race home to your family because your God don't believe in a racial relationship. Fuck your God, right? But we live in a world where fucking a white kid can go kill some people and America can justify why he should get out. Help me understand. Help me understand, B. This is what I've been thinking about. This is what I've been killing time with for the past couple of weeks. I've just been sitting on these ideas and these thoughts. And I just thought I'd share with everybody. So look, check it out. I can't talk no more because my mouth is tired. I'm, 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 I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed now. I talk myself into a fucking annoyance right now. But I appreciate anybody who listens to the podcast. This is a new format. For those who are listening at home and now watching the video, I'm simultaneously filming this and talking at the same time like a comedy show because I'm not going out in the fucking world to tell jokes to people that could be fucking contaminated. It's safer to do it in here and go out there and fucking tell jokes to people sneezing and coughing. I fucking end up dead from bad herpes, right? So look, this is a new format. This is what I'm doing going forward. From here on out, I'm going to be in this hallway telling these motherfucking stories, talking about shit. This is the format. And like I said before, I don't know how to promote myself. I don't know how to push myself. I'm not a marketer. I'm just a fucking creator. If you like this shit and you want other people to hear what the fuck I got to say, share it. I'm not going to be friendly all the time. This shit going to be uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. I like uncomfortable. I like the challenge. I'm uncomfortable. So we're going to be uncomfortable forever. It'll be funny if you make it funny. It'll be funny if you can find the funny. But I can't help you find the funny. That's not my job. I just put the shit out there. You decide what you want to do with it. I don't know what else to fucking tell you. If you want to donate to this motherfucker, donate to the bitch. There's a link for it. You can vim on me or you can fucking PayPal, my name, whatever. If you like this shit, you entertained by it, you fucking pay for shittier shit than this. You pay for shittier shit than this. Some of y'all had Quibi. Fuck out of here. That shit was... Quibi lasted as long as one of their fucking programs. Ten minutes. <laughs> knock, knock. That's the podcast. I'm Aronzi Vance. It's called Just Killing Time. If you like it, subscribe to it. iTunes, Google Play. I'm going to see if I can get the bitch on Spotify. The video will be on YouTube. I'm just going to be talking shit out. You can get mad at me if you fucking want to. I don't give a fuck, bitch. We're in a pandemic. We all going to die eventually. How the fuck you think I'm going to let you disrupt me because you don't like what I fucking said? Better eat my dick.